Marshall and Hergan have fun leeches word. Matudzi Mekti and his mood, you think. Work wolde father, swahi hundra he was. Eche drikten or on stalda. Hey, Aris Chop, Elder Barnum. Heoven to Grover, Halle Shippen. Ta midden yard, Mon Kunis word. Eche drikten, after Teoda, fear of Folden. Freya al Mikti. Hope you like that. Sutton Who replica of what was essentially the standard musical instrument of the 7th century, the Fender Stratocaster of the 7th century. And that was a little adaptation of Cadman's hymn, which is the great poem uh, recorded by Cadman, given the blessing by St w Hilda herself, the great formidable abbess just down the coast here at uh, Whitby, from here at uh, Beadnell, would have known St Abba, almost certainly. And um, it is Old English poetry, which is a deeply pre-Christian medium in origin. And what Cadman's hymn is, is about, really, B tells the story of how Cadman, he's a, he's a cowman, and he's at the local pub, and they're passing one of these things round. And he's a bit shy, because he's not very good at it, so he slinks off home rather churlishly, falls asleep in the cow shed, and while he's there, he dreams. And an angel comes to him in his dream and touches him, and says, you must sing. And he says, I can't sing. What must I sing? And... The angel inspires him and he wakes up and spontaneously, according to the legend, he can produce this old English alliterative poetry, which is a classical, deep pre-Christian medium, but refocusing it on the new God, the new religious allegiance. And so what the legend is about is actually sanitising, so to speak, uh, the pre-Christian medium of poetry for the use of the new church, so that they can further their own message in the medium that most ordinary folk would understand and appreciate. Which is brilliant, that's how we have so much of this wonderful poetry preserved, thank goodness. And it's a great window onto the pre-Christian world, in fact I think one of the best windows. If you want to get down with the pre-Christian English, you've got to listen to the poetry. And just a, an, an attempt at translation, there's no substitute for the original of course. All these terms for God are from the pre-Christian lexicon of terms of God. You find cognates of this in Old Norse referring to the father god Odin. Now should we hallow heaven kingdom's warden, the measurer's might and his deep thought, the work of the father of glory, he who every wonder made, he the eternal lord, its origin established. He first shaped for the children of the earth, heaven as a roof, the holy shaper. Then Middle Earth, the guardian of mankind, the eternal Lord afterwards created the land for the people. <laughs> 